What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to run off up at last time, uh, we are storming down towards Gibraltar with Constanto Bassano to knock out both this territory and also to absorb and destroy and attack this Spanish army. And we are also building up another force in Madrid to act as a bit of a garrison to make sure we don't get surprised. Actually, let's do a bit of repairs with what we've got. And what's going on in the world? Well, Barbaros has kicked into full gear. The Swedes have taken Moscow. God, it's like the great Persia has taken Archangel. God, Russia is collapsing. Absolutely collapsing. I'll probably be drawn into war with them at some point. Um, but that's in Europe. India is very much as you would expect. The Americas has been almost entirely taken over by France. So right now we are clinging onto our holdings um, in, in the southern part of the continent. We've got lots of new Spanish troops in the northern part of the country. So we might move this fella. Move him to intercept. That will leave us vulnerable to a United Provinces attack, but got to take some risks. And we're also recruiting more garrison troops for Tunis. Oh yeah, Trippy rebelled, but they created an army that was mostly artillery. So, go figure. Well, yeah, let's hit N10. Because we're starting to earn a serious amount of cash each turn now. It's about 14,000-ish, as long as people leave us alone. Um, that's a good amount of money, but it's not enough to cover... Yep, see, they're already starting the journey north. Back to Madrid. Um, but more fool them. I will then conquer Gibraltar. I'll probably be able to throw them back out of the city. It depends on how well my replenishment goes. Because we're about to get four more units of line. Full strength units to garrison the city. We'll also get two garrison units. So I think we'll probably be okay. They've got a good army, but it's depleted. So we will have to wait and see. But apart from that, we are just marching on. We're in a much better position than we were previously. Well, <laughs> or in any of the previous campaigns, we're in a significantly better position. That's not good. Spain is going to deposit a an army somewhere. I'll have a look at what ships make up their force. Send my this in, these infantry against how it says this is, can be a bit of a ah no they've gained camel gunners I'm willing to sacrifice some native infantry to see if we get the win sadly not looks like they've run them down um, but the name of the game is going to be building up this army because when they're unhappy their army their strength grows. But I doubt that's going to be too much of a problem. Catholicism is growing quickly. Every turn we lose resistance to foreign occupation. Our garrison gets stronger, so I'm not overly concerned. Our metal roads are starting to roll out. So our town's starting to get wealthier quicker. I think we can now... Have you built your port yet? Two more turns. Then we can have a look at exercising more trade options. Pick up a general. Carlo Torricelli. Don't see how good these guys are. They've got lots of they've got some good infantry. So it's mildly concerning. Gibraltar demand surrender. I think guess just march straight on to straight on to Lisbon, I guess. Just rush. Let's pick up some more infantry in the event that they decide to not immediately attack us. They may come down and retake Gibraltar. I wasn't bothered about kicking their ships out of port. If they don't go for Madrid next turn, then we attack Lisbon. And they're not destroyed, but because they've still got uh, Milan. But major nations, France, we're currently indifferent. Peace. They want Sardinia. 
I might actually give them that. Well, then again. Hmm. So in the grand scheme, I think that's a good idea because it means we don't have to worry about our immediate border, or at least not as much, and we can focus on expanding in the in the Caribbean and maybe against the Ottomans, because I think we are at war with the Ottomans, I think. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm, so, I'm, I'm an idiot, I can just look here. Um, yeah, so we can still attack Spain and New Spain, also the Ottomans and Russia, so we, we, we're not lacking of choices to attack, and I also want them to be um, a blocker between myself and Prussia, so I think. I don't really want to give them tech and stuff, but... There we go. Very friendly. I would like to try and seal that with a trade deal in two turns, if possible. Um, you may as well join the garrison here at Tunis. Good. So we captured... Well, we took Gibraltar, we're going to take Lisbon. Let's have a look at Morocco. Ally with the Mughals, which isn't good. I would like a free hand to take them out, but I don't think we're going to get that. Yep, our navy man is still growing. Um, let's hit end turn. Yeah, my other army is moving forward. That guy's got a long walk to Kiev. And yes, it looks like they're going to redeploy their forces. And there go the Spaniards. So they've put us under siege, but haven't attacked us. Which means... Well, we could sally out. And to be honest, if we sally out, that'll probably be better. Because I can deploy just outside of the walls. And it also means that we can destroy them both with the guns from the artillery. Guns, the artillery from the forts. Uh, no. Population is, gr is shrinking. Presumably because... I mean, I could intercept, but... I'm going to... I'm going to do it. Because then it means it might give us a bit of... They won't... There's a chance that this means they won't blockade our port. So I'm going to do that. Uh, Hooray! Let's take the heavy frigate into our service. Well, there we go. So then we didn't get uh, screwed over by having our trade bottled up. Well, there we go. They're, they're mo moving their troops to... Yep, yeah, they did go for Caracas, so we're going to have to march back and maybe counterattack. Well, put the city to siege, under siege, and then take it again. That's okay. Any raid insert. So if I take my whole army and just go, right, kill you. And move them back in. They're only down to minus four. Depending on how my priest work goes, that might actually work. Dockyard Algiers, good. Keep it first. Sadly, I don't think there's, I don't think there's a way I can quickly get my men there. So if I take... No, they, they say they, my ships can't get into this bay. What have they got? They've not got much stuff. But our native auxiliary won't hold them off. Oh well. Move up. City besieged. Madrid. Not worried about it. You guys march on to Lisbon. And let's go take them out. But one second, guys. I just need to quickly check something. Awesome. Right. Or, or do I demand surrender and they'll teleport back to... No, let's do it. <laughs> Should I? Let's take the city. Then we can destroy the school in Tunis. Build a church school to help... A, to help keep that population priests. Terrible position for artillery. 
So we're going to haul our guns up onto this about here. So let's build one. Our main battle line that will advance through the town. A slightly smaller flanking brigade that are going to secure the guns, the cavalry or support the gunners. Pikes through the town, general with the main force. I think that looks good to me. falling back. Good stuff. Main force. March up. Good sir. Pikes march towards that direction. Irish brigade. Irish regiment. Swiss Pikes, Marines, standard line infantry looks pretty good, Infanterie de Marina, they look excellent, the Walloon Guards always look great, that's another Walloon Guards, two Walloon Guards, three Walloon Guards, no wait, that's the same unit, first and the 14th. go. Now you've got trouble. Okay, my main force, run. Because they are about to try and get into position. Oh, a lot of artillery. All aiming at this regiment. <laughs> this Irish regiment. The second light foot. First musketry is going to open up on the right flank against the Regimento de Sevilla. Cavalry charge. Swiss pikeman charge. Get my grenadiers in against the Swiss pikes. These men battle their way through the town. Holy moly, they are giving up a lot of their protection. Swiss pikes are going in. Artillery, pound this block of men in the centre. The marine infantry. All my artillery is just going to be erupting in the centre. guards but yeah any protection any semblance of protection in the flank they do have a unit back here but i don't care about them any units they have protecting the rear are just gone they have no protection march some units over here ready to deal with forces, get all my artillery to focus on the 
can't hit the 33rd. That's my regiment. No wonder you guys all hit that regiment at the back. Hit the Wallium Guards though, because they're engaging. They're fighting our Marines. But let's give them some help. Try and massacre the 24th. Sadly, not got any audio. Let's just get my regiment of horse along into the centre to try and crash into the back of these men. Because my, my guys are holding a bloody line. You guys charge in. Smash into the back of the Irish Brigade. Irish Brigade and the Walloon Guards. Two elite units. broken through on this flank. Now all that remains is to engulf and destroy this unit to the rear. There we go, the Spaniards have broken. Get my pikes to specifically target their general. That's right, my pikey boys are working through. Where is their general? Their glorious leader. There he is. Surrounded my marines. There he goes. There we go. They've broken. So run two units on the flank, and then when they move to respond, charge in my frontal units. Because Trevor's right now, they've got lots of cover behind that wall. So there's no point standing toe to toe in front of them, because you will not win. Respond to my flank. There they go. They responded to the. F ah, gorillas! You guys, charge the guerrilla mercenaries. I think my line infantry should win against guerrilla mercenaries. Come on, regiment of horse. If there's one thing you like killing, it's irregulars. These guys are more than enough to knock out these infantrymen. Yeah, there they go. Lots of firepower at short range. Trying to protect the first regiment of foot. There go the first, and here come the cavalry. And charge on to these special unit of guerrillas. Coso Terrestre. Terrestre. There we go. Just, just right click attack them. 
just to make sure they die. There we go. Lisbon is ours. Find the Great Iberian Peninsula. And now here is a time for an optimistic bit of peace. Because it's mostly New Spain we're fighting. Unsurprisingly, they did not accept our peace treaty. So the city really hates us, but I don't want to demolish the school. So let's rebuild the government building, the happiness building. Rebuild this, upgrade the body house. They are going to be very... They are, well, they are very upset with us. Let's kick out their navy. From here, let's use our... No, I can't do anything here. But we're probably going to take this army. We did get we got a garrison line and we got a garrison mortar as well. That's pretty damn good. But we're going to sally at Madrid. But looking at the timer, well, I think... I'm pretty sure the last time I was about was over 20 minutes. I think that is the end of the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the Sally of Madrid. Cheers, everyone. Turns out I suck at counting. We've still got about 10 minutes left. So, <laughs> you thought you weren't going to see it, but now you are. Let's take him out. Born a raiding party around our territory. Um, but I think that will be easily, or well, relatively easily, mopped up. But influence. Yeah, don't care about sitting in, in here. So let's take my guns. Deploy outside. Got you guys up and ready. Got you guys up and ready. Strengthen one particular flank. Artillery. Or some cavalry on each flank. Mortars in the centre to just cause havoc. General in the centre. The problem is, is their army is quite depleted. So they start nonsense like this and laying siege to the capital. Uh, they've got to be ready to reap the whirlwind. Especially as they have no artillery, they are forced to come close to engage me. Otherwise they will forever be engaged at range. Stretch these guys a bit more so they provide, well, straighten them out a bit more so they provide a bit more mutual support. Explosive shells going in. Kill a bunch of militiamen. I mean, that's not really the target I would elect to choose. It's not the target I would elect them to engage at personally, but probably go for all these guard regiments they've got. We can't really engage them till they crest the hill either, so that's pretty handy as well. So let's say you're a you're a Swiss regiment soldier marching up the hill. You can hear artillery whizzing over you, mortars. You've been ordered to uh, storm up the hill or walk up the hill. And you get to about here and you see the enemy are not above the walls. You think maybe they've retreated. Maybe they have left a uh, diversionary force. And then you realise, no. They are here. In numbers. There we go. Now, they've, now they're putting the hammer down. Now we're engaging. That stupid sound. So what are these? Who are these guys? The Tercio Pikemen. They look... Fantastic. Get my cavalry ready to charge the uh, marines. There we go, they've just... Should get some cavalry out straight away.
Spanish bandits are routed. They've lost three men, and that's enough for them to call it quits. Okay, more to stop firing before you just do too much damage. Uh, Swiss regiment, take them out, please. The pikemen are responding to my charge. This garrison unit's going to take a bit of a battering, but that's okay. They're garrison troops, so they're not really mine. General might get shot down, but that's okay. I'm not really that bothered about him. Okay, General. Let's get my General out of here. But my Colonial Light. Actually, no, they both need to be in here. Yeah, so the infantry de marina are shooting, they're primarily doing damage to my garrison force, which I don't really care about, because it's generated from the city, I don't pay for it, it doesn't exist on the campaign map. The Spanish bandits are wavering, fortunately the Tercio pikemen haven't got involved. Keep attacking the Spanish bandits, because we could lose our general, technically. I suppose I should really just push up this line to give them something to think about. There we go. There go the Spanish bandits. So let's then proceed to ignore them with the rest of my force. go after everyone else. I mean, those Spanish bandit ban banditeros or whoever they are, they came back. I think the infantry down marina are still they're still there waiting. And there we go. And pivot them to go hit the marines. You guys chase down the tertiary pikemen. Bomb. Oh, let's just run up one up right behind them. Hey. Whoa, guerrilla mercenaries placing stakes. Okay, both attack one unit. Damn right, continue. Actually, no, you go get them. There's only two of them. So the reason why, well, you guys know this already. I've explained this this kind of thinking multiple times. Because it's a raiding army, it's attacking your city, it is very much in your interests to continue the battle, if you can, to kill as many men as you can. Just to make the raiding problem easier, so that I doubt they'll be dead. They've still got 200 men remaining. Um, but trying to kill them now will be a significantly um, easier proposition. So let's check our research. You heard, do you have Evora? So let's put Evora to work. New model bayonet drill. Actually, you might do carcass shot, actually. To get, oh no, it'd be 10 turns with you. Four turns for advanced irrigation to reduce, improve, improve wealth generated from farms, reduce the chance of food shortages, 
Lots of good stuff. So let's hit end turn. A spy is marching on. Fortunately, it looks like the French are starting to redeploy to the east. The new Spaniards are going to take uh, our city, which is going to be a bit of a bummer, but whatever. We'll take it back. The main win has always been taking the Iberian Peninsula. Because once we've stabilised that and got a bit of a defence force going, we can start to invest more in our colonies. So ideally, that would be how I would want to proceed. Do some operations against the Ottoman Empire, because that's... Is it theme -y? To be honest, I might not a couple of books on it, but I've not actually read much of it. Um, but it certainly seems right to crusade to Jerusalem and begin to con the Capron's that way it will fully convert to Catholicism and it will make them cheerful. It's got to be a good thing. And now, well this turn I think is the turn we actually get our new ports built. Which means we will be able to, well maybe, we'll be able to trade with France and create a good, a good link. Yep, yeah, that was always going to happen. Or to resolve it. So how many men did we kill? Only 175. Yeah, you'll pay for that, Spain. Mark my words. You're only one, one turn away from my army coming back to sack you. Army destroyed temporarily. Demand surrender. <laughs> okay, maintain siege for now. Port blockaded, port blockaded, port blockaded. Don't care about any of them because it isn't Malta. Why have we lost... Oh, have we lost a... Uh... War declared between the Ottomans and Russia. Perfect. We lost New Andalusia. Workers on strike, Tripoli. Workers riot in Gibraltar. Workers on strike in Portugal. Why have we lost so much money? Okay, let's untap... Oh, taxing them won't do any good. It's unfortunate that their workers are rioting. What if we exempt you from tax? You don't earn any money. They're probably going to rebel back to Spanish control. Which will be a bummer. This gentleman's blocking our access over the river, which is incredibly annoying. Um, let's repair the military academy and let's pick up some West European infantry mercenaries because we may have to go back and take Gibraltar because we did fix it but they were so unhappy they broke it again. I don't think there's a way to get troops there quickly because if you dump, dump them off of the coast that'll be that. Okay, so I think if I destroyed this college it would mean getting all of my agents over to the new school so I could destroy it take what kind of navy have they got here it's not a bad navy well it's, it's a pretty bad navy let's take my navy Let's take my desert militia. I mean, you definitely can. Especially probably better off than Safaki. Embark the desert militia. Take my ships. Sell them into the danger zone. They've not intercepted us, so then sail to Cadiz, disembark my militia, sit them in Gibraltar. There we go. We can even tax them. My navy can sail out, then sail back to Safaki. Good stuff. Yeah, if I build this up into a religious building gets rid of the religious unrest and it means we can keep my priest doing good stuff all the way across North Africa 
I mean, I'd probably like to build Benghazi into a church school as well. Misrata is also growing, but growth isn't very good. Do you have any farms here at all? No, I'd be tempted to destroy this and replace it with a trade port, with a fishing port. Which I think we probably will. Priest is still doing sneaky stuff down there. You infiltrate Bogota. Let's see what they're packing. A lot of armies down here. Not very good ones. But once we've taken once we've taken out oh there's one of our trade routes being blockaded once we um once we've secured and stabilized the west and start to do limited actions against the ottomans here take cairo and start fighting around here then we can spend more in the more in the caribbean and let's pick up some new trade friends so france let's trade excellent oh just the one trade partner actually oh it's because the new spaniards are blocking our exports of goods i'll take your galleon sir and i'll raise your two fourth rates and we'll take your galleon there we go, up to nine grand. And we also have lost the, the trade from here as well, and the trade from Curacao. Hey, that admiral looks familiar. Yeah, but the name of the game, I think, will be to grow our navy and to grow our armies in this region continue to take territory and engage the new Spaniards I think so let's take this fella and then attack Giracus but looking at the timer the new timer <laughs> it's definitely time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and this time really hope to see you in the next hope to see you in the next episode to continue the adventures of the Knights of St. John cheers everyone